Hello friends and welcome back to my crafty space. In today's video, I am going to be working on my final wrap-up page for my 2017 Project Life album. For this spread, I am using an older Feed Your Craft kit. I believe this one was called What a Year. And um, I have my journaling already pre-typed up on this little card here, which just is, you know, saying things I'm grateful for that have happened in this 2017 year. And then I also went ahead and printed out a couple of photos to include mostly photos that were taken, taken towards the end of the year. So this is very representative of what we looked like and, you know, all of that all of that for the end of 2017. So I am going to go ahead and put you on fast forward while I get everything assembled today. And then once I've got this done, we will slow back down and close out and finish this album together. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so diving into our spread for today, the first thing I'm going to do is take this star bursty type pink pattern card and cut that in half because I actually want to use it as a three by four card in this spread instead of the four by six. So I'm going to do that first and then go ahead and get everything laid out here so we can see what we're working with and I can determine how I want to embellish this final spread of my 2017 album. I really liked this kit which was called I believe What a Year from feed your craft. It had a lot of really great cards to document the end of the year, the end of an album, that sort of thing. And a lot of the colors that I had remaining from the kit were these pink and yellow and white type colors. Now you can see there in one of the embellishments, it has the 2021 date on it because this came out at the end of 2020. So it was supposed to be going into 2021. So my Ultimately, my goal is to cover up the 2021 so that you don't even know that it's for that year. And that way I can still repeat the, it almost looks like a sticky note type of a, type of a, um, drawing there. So I wanted to have both of those, the yellow one in the upper right corner, and then the pink one in the middle on the left side. So just to have some of that balance. And then I also had those white and black floral pieces that I wanted to add throughout the page as well. I really wish that that embellishment piece would not have said 2021 because I totally could have left that blank and put or maybe put like some kind of sticker or something in it instead of what I ultimately end up doing which is adding the florals into those it looks okay like I do like it with the floral embellishments inside of those smaller squares but I really like the way that everything looks as it is right now with the two floral elements with the best banner there on the bottom picture and then one of the floral elements on each of those more um, like filler type cards it's not ultimately what I go with because I do need to cover up the 2021 and then it looked funny when I did one but not the other. So, you know, say la vie, it is what it is. <laughs> and we'll just eventually get to that and move on and it will be fine. For this third three by four filler card, I was struggling a little bit with what to put there. I thought about adding in some tiny phrase stickers. I thought about adding in some chipboard. I thought about stamping something. I just couldn't figure it out because I didn't want to cover up all of the stripes there. I like the way that those look, but I also um, didn't want this to be plain. Like it just felt funny keeping it plain. So you'll see me go through a bunch of my different products here. I pulled out some of my Paige Evans cut file or not cut files, die cuts. These are from the explosion box release that she did with Michaels. I wanted to see if anything in there would relate or could coordinate with this week's spread and really nothing does. This one, I pulled out this little tiny rainbow. That would have been super cute in there, but I also felt like I needed at least two of them and I didn't have a second one. So back in the box it went. And then these two little painterly type hearts were okay. Those actually probably would have been fine. Um, but this is where I thought, you know what, why don't I just take these flowers and put those in here instead? So I'm going to layer two flowers in each of them. And then on the pink one, I'll add the yay title. And on the yellow one, I will find a tiny phrase sticker to add into the middle. So it, it all turns out fine. 
for that card that I was struggling with earlier, what I ultimately decided to do was pull out some of my Tim Holtz tokens. And I found one that says something that relates to being the end of the year, but I honestly don't remember what it says. We'll be able to see that later in some close-up images. But I found one that had a phrase or a word on it that seemed to go nicely with this spread. And then I also grabbed some black and white twine, which I chose the black and white because there's lots of black and white here on this spread. And I just felt like that coordinated really well with everything else. I will string it through the token and then tie a bow and add it directly onto that card. And um, I really like it. I like the texture that the twine adds to it. I like having the metal on there. And I'm glad that it's one of the center cards because it draws your eyes to the middle of the spread. And I just think that that works out pretty nicely in my favor. So here's where you can see that I added all of those pieces into the squares. I'm just going to tape them directly down onto the cards. I did have these tiny phrase stickers that were perfect. They are like a peach color with a brighter pink text, which is the exact colors of some of the stuff in this kit. So it worked out really nicely. And I will add those in two or three places here on the spread. So there's where you can see that I tied my bow. I'm going to use some score tape to add it onto the card just to make sure that it's super adhered, you know, it's adhered really, really well onto, onto this card. And I'm going to debate where to put it. Ultimately, directly in the middle seems like the best bet for me. So I'm gonna trim off these strings there and then we will move on to just adding a few more tiny phrase stickers. For the photos this week, I just chose um, a bunch of them that we had taken at the very end of December just to show a visual representation of what we looked like at the end of December. That is generally how I begin and how I end my spreads. Now, in recent years, I will actually take a photo of each of us during the first week of January, and that becomes my title page. And then the final page is like the last week of December. Um kind of a wrap up and usually a lot more journaling cards than photos, which is totally fine with me. But this being an older year, I didn't have the photos from the beginning of the year or the end of the year of each of us individually. So it just ended up being, you know, what it is and that's okay. So I pulled a couple of pictures from my birthday, which is, you know, the, it's two days before the end of the year. And then I also pulled some from right around Christmas time of Izzy and then our whole family together. I will add a puffy sticker here and then call this one done. All right, friends. So that completes my spread for today. So our 2000 or my 2017 Project Life album is officially 100% completed, which is really exciting. So I hope that you have enjoyed seeing this one come together and that you feel inspired to pull off some of the projects that you have on your shelf that are not completed to get to work on those. And then next week, I'll be back working in my 2018 album. So we're going to start with the intro page this time, and then we'll work our way from the beginning of the year to the end of the year. So I am pumped to get into that one. Until next time, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and a fantastic week, and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye, friends.